Boycott Spyro. Boycott Spyro. Sure, he looks like an innocent dragon, but he breathes fire. He's napalm on four scaly legs. And he headbutts. Just look what he did to me. Ooh. What? Mmm, barbecue. So Spiral the Dragon came out in 1998, and I can't lie to you guys. I played this game around the same time as Crash Bandicoot, and unlike Crash, I did not beat it. You remember when I said I had a lot of demo discs back in the day in my PlayStation review? And remember when I said as a kid that I thought the demos were full games? Yeah, this was one of them. When I beat the Spyro demo, I thought I had beaten the whole game. So now it's up to adult Michael to do what kid Michael didn't do 20 plus years ago. And finally beat Spyro the Dragon. So in this game, you play as Spyro. As the dragons are getting interviewed by the press about this creature known as Nasty Nork. And they immediately start talking shit. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Them he has been contained <laughs> in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is an ugly. Ugly? Man. Does he? Wait, you tell me. Looks like I've got some things to do. Wait, you're telling me. This guy, they were just talking shit. And he immediately just said, oh, oh okay. Oh, y'all think I ain't say, oh, bet. Bet! Y'all think I'm playing around? Okay, bet. Honestly, is that guy even the villain? Honestly, I'm on his side. So Nasty Nork gets understandably pissed and turns all the dragons except for Spyro into stone because I guess it only works on adult dragons. So now Spyro's goal is to free all the dragons and defeat Nasty Nork. So the story is pretty funny. I don't care what y'all say. My man Nasty Nork did nothing wrong. He was standing on business. And I do appreciate the Dragons I Free giving me useless information on shit I had already figured out. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bull. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. I already figured that out. Uh, I'm just, uh, question, uh, do you guys just have those, uh, those monologues ready for when I just open you guys up? Like, you would think the first things they would say is like, oh my god, uh, freedom of no. It's like, hello Spyro, let me tell you how to move the camera. If you hit L2 and R2, oh, okay. I understand that this is a kid's game, so I get it, but it's still funny. Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. Oh, yeah. First, let me tell you a story. Oh, no, thanks. oh no, oh no, yeah. oh god. Please, please get me out of here. But of course, the main dish of the game is obviously the gameplay. So the gameplay is thankfully really good. You have your standard jump button and attack button, but what really makes Spyro different from other platformers is the fact that he's a fucking dragon. And with that, you get the ability to breathe fire and the ability to glide long distances. And the level design is built upon these abilities by giving us wide and hard to reach areas, making certain areas only accessible through the means of gliding. There are even levels where you can fly to the fullest as well. What the hell is this? Oh, oh, they got flying stages, okay. Can I go faster? I don't know where I'm going. No, 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 no! God dang it. I really like the controls in this game, but I do have some nitpicks, such as the camera not following where I'm trying to go. Oh, I'm loving the beat. I'm loving the beat of this level. I don't think I saw, why did I do that? Why did I do this? How did this even happen? Well, that's it now. Goodbye. Wait, that was my last life? That was my last life? What? I didn't even realize. Oh. Can, can I get out? Jesus. Jesus, I didn't even give me a chance. 
Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm, I'm not dealing with those enemies ever, ever again. I'm, I can still make it. Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely still make it. Yeah. Nope. Yo, I'll, I'll leave that to you over there. I shouldn't have left that to you over there. You tried it. Yeah, I thought it'd be a lot more stronger with it being... Oh, God. For how big those things are, I, I thought they'd be a lot more menacing. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no! I thought I made it! And because this is a platformer, you obviously have collectibles as well. The main collectibles being gems and dragon eggs. Both aren't too hard to collect, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to gut and kill every thief that wields a dragon egg. Get some friction, and yep, there we go. Don't worry, I got you, I got you, I got you. You ain't going nowhere, you ain't going nowhere today! You about to die today. There we go. Give me that dragon egg. Yeah. You are now my second child. I shall name you Brock. What's up, Brock? How you going? Oh, now you get back here. Your back can be too big. Come on. Come on. God. Oh, they can jump, you piece of shit. I'll kill you. I will slit you. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm coming back for you. I'm coming back for you. And when I do, you're dead. You're dead meat. Soundtrack wise, it's pretty good. It's not really my cup of tea, except for the main theme, but each song fits the level it represents pretty well. But with all that said, Spyro the Dragon gave us fun gameplay, great level design, and amazing hints for new new players <laughs> he's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg you've got to track him down and, and get that egg oh run, there is run. oh <laughs> i'm getting a little winded oh god <laughs> yeah imagine if we just passed out and die right there after i freed him so with all that said my final verdict for spiral the dragon is the silver seal of approval